ITIL and ISO 20000 are the same thing, right? Wrong. ITIL is a framework for IT service management that when adapted to suit your environment will align your IT organization to your business. ISO 20000 or ISO stroke IEC 20000-1, to give it its full name, is a standard that you audit against and achieve to demonstrate that efficient and effective IT service management processes are implemented within the IT organization. Has that made anything any clearer? ISO 20000 is something that you achieve. It's a certificate on your wall that states that you work in an efficient and effective way. ITIL, if adapted in a way that's efficient and effective, will actually facilitate achieving that certificate on the wall. ITIL is a framework for a set of processes that an IT service provider organisation adapts and then implements to produce a way of working and managing their IT services. These processes are adapted with the objective of delivering value to the business as a whole. Just to be clear, ITIL isn't a one-size-fits-all solution to failing IT services, and you can't just plug and play ITIL. ITIL will tell you or advise you what processes you should have, but in order to deliver that value to your business, these processes have to be adapted and tailored, because after all, value means different things to different organisations. These ITIL processes encompass the whole life of all IT services that your business uses. From the concept of a new service, through the design and the build of that service, to the ongoing support and then the eventual retirement of that service. ITIL not only provides a way to manage these activities, but also to make the decisions surrounding them. Once ITIL has been implemented in a way that delivers value, then an organisation can choose if they'd like to audit for and potentially achieve the ISO 20000 accreditation for IT service management. When an organisation makes a decision to pursue ISO 20000 accreditation, then an ISO 20000 auditor will attend site to audit the IT service management processes in place for effectiveness, in other words, does that process meet its defined objective, and also for efficiency too. The ISO 20000 audit will look for compliance at process level for the following elements. Does each process have an objective? Does each process have a defined outcome? Is each process documented? Are all the stakeholders aware of process activities and workflows? And are all the interactions between all of your service management processes documented? On successful completion of the audit, an organisation will either be given an accreditation or they'll be given a snagging list of improvements that will need to be implemented in order to attain accreditation. Being presented with this snagging list doesn't exclude any organisation for future achievement, it just simply outlines processes or activities that are not deemed to be efficient or effective. A misconception is that ISO 20000 is a one-off achievement. Sure, your organisation is audited and then accreditation is awarded. But this accreditation is then subject to a full re-audit every three years, with interim assessments at least annually. I know it sounds like what I've said is that if an IT service provider implements an ITIL framework, then they therefore should achieve ISO 20000 accreditation. But that's not the case at all. ITIL will facilitate or help to achieve ISO 20000, but just because you've got an ITIL-based framework in place doesn't mean that you'll automatically achieve ISO 20000. Understanding fully the requirements of the ISO 20000 audit is obviously a prerequisite to success and a good place to start is with the ITIL framework. But remember that I said that ITIL isn't plug and play. In order for an ITIL implementation to be effective and aligned to your business needs, then you have to adapt the processes in an efficient way. If ITIL hasn't been implemented in a way that focuses on the objectives and the outcomes and the efficiencies of process activities, then it won't help with ISO 20000 achievement at all. Maintaining an environment focused on continual service improvement will facilitate these annual assessments and also the renewal of your ISO 20000 accreditation. Approaches to continual service improvement can be found in the ITIL framework. As an international standard, ISO 20000 is evidence-based and so documentation has to be available and kept up to date. 
Other frameworks such as CMMI and Lean Sigma can assist continual service improvement by developing the maturity and the efficiencies of those ITIL processes you put in place. And this in turn can then help with maintaining your ISO 20000 accreditation. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. And if you're looking for further information on this video or any other IT service management topic, then please contact me either via LinkedIn or at joepeacock at outlook.com and I'll be happy to help.